Critics of the NYPD's controversial stop and frisk policy tonight have a new tactic. They are asking citizens to use their smartphones to record police officers and then use a new app in an effort to document all NYPD stops. Investigative reporter Jim Hoffer, who has been investigating the stop and frisk policy for years tonight, joining us with the latest in this story. Jim. Liz, it is perfectly legal to videotape police activity in public. And with that in mind, opponents of stop and frisk have designed a cell phone application they believe will force the NYPD to restrain the controversial crime fighting tactic. With the simple touch of the phone screen, anyone witnessing an NYPD stop and frisk will now be able to record it and even alert others nearby when a stop is in progress. A lot of people these days already are recording um, stop and frisks as they happen, you know, with their phones. So this will just be another way to uh, make that process a little easier. But in addition to recording, this app, which is available for free through the New York Civil Liberties Union, also allows owners of any Android phone to document details of the stop, such as location, officer's name, and the ethnicity of the person stopped. The app is about empowering individuals and community groups to document abuses and discrimination under the NYPD stop and frisk program that is frankly out of control. Under Mayor Bloomberg, stop and frisk has accelerated from around 97,000 stops when he first took office to nearly 700,000 people stopped last year alone. There's days I've been stopped three different times in one day. Steve Kohut says the stop and frisk app is for use by those who witness a stop in progress. We're not telling you, okay, the cops are stopping me. Wait, let me grab my phone and no, that's no. We know what happens when people reach into their pockets. We remember Diallo. The mayor insists stop and frisk is saving lives by taking guns off the streets. Critics say the city's dramatic drop in gun violence occurred before Bloomberg took office and before the 600 percent increase in stops. The Civil Liberties Union is hoping this new app will reduce that number. It leverages sophisticated technologies and programming to create a simple to use social justice tool that I hope will affect policy change. When asked today about the stop and frisk app, Commissioner Kelly said he had not heard about it, therefore had no comment on it. The app is free and available on Android phones and iPhone version will be released later this summer.